Hello everyone! Welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Thirst, and welcome back if you are a returning Stitchy. So, you guys saw the title. <laughs> um, I have a second box to show you guys, but this is also an update on um, the Hirschner's situation if you will the customer service issue that we had and everything like that uh quick recap and then i will give you the new information and then we will look at the box um so quick recap is i bought a bunch of millens um end of may beginning of june uh when they were doing the um, two pack of alpaca, merino, or cotton melons. I bought a bunch of them and it only took three days to get them. There's a reason I'm saying this. So I get them and a two pack of the cotton cakes had mold on them. And just as an aside, all eight of my cotton cakes were the exact same color, exact same thing. Whatever. Cool. Just mentioning it. <laughs> I mean, it can, it, it's like that sometimes. Um, it's a mystery box, so who knows, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of diversity, but whatever. Um, so there was mold on the cakes, and I contacted customer service to let them know this was not so much to like get anything back or, or you know anything like that it was to just let them know um i wasn't upset or anything like that this happens it's not a big deal i honestly uh kind of figured it happened in shipping i didn't even figure it happened with hershner's um because it's cotton it's in a um it's in a bag that doesn't have any breathing or venting holes and so cotton sweats and so that moisture I just assumed that it probably happened there but it easily could have happened you know at Hershner's too and so on the chance that it happened at Hershner's I wanted to let them know so they could go check the bin that it came out of and um see if any other yarn had it so I contacted customer service to let them know and the lady was very rude. Um, I usually don't point it out. I ignore it. I let it go. I think a customer service job, I think customer service jobs are just about like some of the hardest work to do. And so I was letting it go and I mean this was a decently long phone call and it wasn't until the very end that I finally said something and she told me it's because she was having a bad day she recognized that she was being rude but she was having a bad day do with that what you will so she told me to email Hershner's a photo of the yarn I could throw the yarn away and I made sure that that was okay that I could throw the yarn away um, I can't, I have no use for it. I can't have it around. I have breathing issues and I'm going through chemo right now. I have no immune system. I can't, I had a, um, like sinusy cold thing turn into pneumonia back in March and April. Like I, I can't afford for something like that to happen. So, um, anyway, during the phone call, three different times I verified the spelling of the email and the email was pretty much just the company's name the company that she works for and um and I can never remember exactly how to spell it well it was wrong whether it was intentional or not I don't know but it was wrong whatever it doesn't matter so I found the correct email now it took many days to realize that it was going to the wrong email um but anyway, I emailed them a picture, my order number, everything like that. And um, so we're going back and forth and, uh, you know, talking back and forth. 
they email me back and they tell me that they don't like the way that I sent the picture. They don't want it as an attachment. They want it in the body of the email. Well, I didn't at that time have access to a computer. So I could only send it to them one way on a phone, which was just clicking the paper clip and attaching a photo to it. I couldn't do it any other way. So I said to them, um, I'm so sorry, I don't have access to a computer, so on a phone you can only attach a photo one way. This is the only way I can do it. You know, what would you like me to do since I can't do it any other way? Um, and since, you know, they're unwilling to open up the attachment, which, you know, I kind of get because, like, it could be a virus or something like that. I totally understand it. Or it could be a crude photo or something. You know, I get it. Truly, I get it. Cool. Um, and so they said, well, you're going to have to send the yarn back then. You're going to have to cover the shipping, meaning I'm covering the shipping. You're going to have to cover the shipping. You're going to have to send the yarn back and then, and the order information and everything like that. And then we will dispatch you a new set if we find that there's something wrong with it. Okay, um, so I email them back and I tell them, okay, I threw the yarn away. The customer service representative told me that I could throw it away because all I had to do was send you guys a picture of it. So I threw it away because I can't have this in my house. Um, so I'm sorry, I can't send it to you. So like, can we just move forward with a refund then? Like. Clearly, I can't get the yarn to them if they're not going to open up the picture and I can't get the yarn to them because I don't have it anymore. By the time they emailed this, it had already been like a week and a half or something like that. So there was nothing I could do. And that was June 17th. I have not heard from them. Um, that's it. It's July 5th right now. And crickets nothing and I've even re-emailed them twice to just like hi I'm still here Do you know update like um nothing they just emailed they just ignored me and I don't think for a second that they know it's because of the previous video that I did I did not indicate in any way that um I'm a content creator or anything like that and not that that should matter you know we're allowed the customers allowed to leave reviews or talk about stuff and I didn't say anything defamatory that wasn't true or anything like that and honestly I think I was quite nice so they didn't do anything here's my frustration is I mean one that's just rude but um I don't know I don't want to get in trouble for like saying this or upsetting anybody but like I know if I was other people who, and like they knew that there was like a platform I was on or something like that, it would be an entirely different situation because I've watched it. I've watched them send moldy yarn to content creators and them know they were content creators and they fixed it. They made it right. And none of that should matter. They should make it right for anybody. That shouldn't matter and I'm sure they've made this right for plenty of people um, I know that I'm not the only person that's happened to but um, that just like really kind of rubbed me the wrong way that I know for a fact that I, I don't know anyway whatever now <clears throat> um, I ordered this on June 23rd this box it just got here today So, I don't know. Um, this box can literally, and this is probably all in shipping, so, it, you know, whatever. But this box can literally talk to you. <laughs> and um, I can't show you the other sides because it has, you know, my address and everything on it, but it's really busted up. And the top of it, you can literally just reach in and I could pull something out. So, I don't, I don't know. Whatever. 
but that's where we are. I'm not a bitter person, so I, you know, kept my business with them. I ordered again. The cakes went down to $9.99 for a two-pack. They are not at that price now. They are $14.99 again if they still have them. Um, because I'm not sure. I didn't check before I did the video. I'll link it below if they do. But yeah, I just think that's really, really crappy customer service. And I have watched them give preferential treatment to content creators. I've heard other people's stories. I mean, grant, grant you, I don't know uh, whether those stories are true. I can't validate them in any way. I'm sure that they are. I don't know. But um, I hear the stories of people who are not, and I see, have seen what they've done for content creators, and that's frustrating because it shouldn't matter. Everybody deserves the same treatment across the board, period. Nobody is, nobody is so special that they deserve something like that. Um, so, in the grand scheme of things, it was not a lot of money. It was $14.99 for those two cakes. So, I'm just, it is what it is. I'm throwing it away. I'm not giving any more energy to it. Whatever, I'm done. I didn't care about that really to begin with. It was more the customer service aspect of it was, was what took over what short little time it was about the moldy yarn their business practices is what spoke louder and that is very frustrating it was not that hard to make this right or at the very least to treat me with respect um the customer service representative being respectful and then the company itself whom whomever was responsible for the emails um not ghosting me not one time did I ever get nasty or rude, disrespectful, even in the face of how they were talking to me. Never, not once. So, do with that what you will. I'm tagging them in this video the same way that I did the first one. Because the truth is the truth. And that's it. So, I am going to show you what I got. It is very easy to open this box because it basically wasn't sealed to begin with. Um, so... All of that unpleasantness aside, yarn, pretty yarn, probably, um, cakes. I'm very, very excited. So let us see what we have. I am so stoked, you guys. I mean, th these were just really good deals. Um, $9.99 for a two pack of uh, these cotton cakes. Ooh, okay. I do have at least a little bit of different, though I am seeing a lot of the exact same thing I had before. Okay, so this is different, and I could not be more excited. I saw this. I think Sarah Nicole had this one, and um, I think this is the one she had. Maybe not. I don't know, but either way, this is beautiful, and I'm very happy to have it. So it's got a silver Selena, and it is navy blue to medium blues to light blue to like a periwinkle bluish purple um, okay let me there we go there we go in that pretty I wanted to do this during the great light of the day but that didn't happen so I think this is pretty good though the lighting's okay now so you get um, two cakes in a pack and they're gonna be um, self striping cotton cake melons. They're either going to be 100% cotton or they're going to be 96 cotton for metallic or 55 cotton 45 acrylic or 53 cotton 43 acrylic and 4 metallic. They are 225 gram cakes or 450 grams total for the two pack. About 875 yards per cake and a to sport weight. So there is this one. Um, I am stoked. I'm definitely keeping that one. Okay, let me do this. Okay, so this is the one that I had before. This is all I had before. They sent all eight of them that I ordered were the exact same thing. So I have more of these. <laughs> But that's okay. There's some diversity happening here, so I'm down for that. So I'm going to pass those on because I don't need yet more of them. Um, okay. Then there are... Oh, 
which this one is a medium denim blue to like the medium and light blues with a silver stellina. All right, and then there's two of these. It is like a steel gray, steel blue rather. So it's like a blue or it's a gray with like a blue tint to it. And then it goes to a light blue to a tan and to pink. Uh, no Stellina in this one. Um, <laughs> so this is probably... I think this is the cotton acrylic. If I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I could be wrong. What do I know? Okay. And then there's this one, which is... Is this the same one as this one? No. Okay. So then this one... There's a lot of diversity in this one. So this one goes from a beautiful dark teal. Oh, I love that color. To extremely light blue to a kind of, I don't know, weird green color. To yellow to a light pink in the middle. Man, I love that dark teal on the outside. <laughs> and then... This pretty thing, uh, black to white to light pink to like a medium pink. Very pretty. I have one of these in a, uh, I think it's from Hobie. Um, that's cool because I I'm too big like if I'm gonna make a wearable that I can actually wear I need more than one so that's cool I might keep this one I don't know I might pass it on okay and then there is oh interesting wait a minute oh cool okay I thought these were the same thing okay so these look very similar to the first one that I showed you but they're not so um this is a black, so it's got a blue thread, so, uh, Selena that goes through it. It's black to a medium blue to a light blue, almost periwinkle. <coughs> Interesting. Okay, so this one is... Okay. So like the melons can be, um, the weight wasn't right, the color was off, the labels were messed up, um, something like that. So I can tell you what was wrong with this one. Um, so this one stops at the like light periwinkle blue. This is the same cake and it goes to purple. So this one is missing the purple. If you heard my son burp, I am very sorry. Um, so like you can see this one. Oh wow, I didn't realize. So you can see that this one is significantly smaller than this one because it's missing that purple section. Interesting. Okay. I wonder what was wrong with this one. I don't know. Uh, this is, I was only pointing that out because um, this is the first time I've ever actually seen something like quote unquote wrong with one of the cakes and I'm sorry for $9.99 for two cakes yeah that's totally fine um, but that's the first time I've ever seen anything like discernibly wrong with it because usually I'm like why the heck are these you know what was wrong with these they look perfect um okay and then oh my gosh I could be wrong but I don't recall them ever selling a gray to pink one. I wonder if this was supposed to be the black to pink one. Uh, I am totally down for this. I love gray. You guys know I love gray. Gray mixed with any color I think is just perfection. So this goes from gray to white to light pink then to like a dusty mauvey pink. Very pretty. And there are two of those in here. <clears throat> I might just keep that. I don't know.
And then, hold on. Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. Daddy happy? Oh, you got cookies? Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. <clears throat> now this one is a, I'm pretty sure this is navy blue. Yeah, that's a navy blue to a dark blue to a denim blue, then to a pink and then to that dusty pink. That's very pretty. That's pretty. So there's two of those in this pack. That's really cool. I like that it's like two packs of the same color because then it makes it to where you can, you can either do, you know, two, one cake project or if you are, you know, more voluptuous, you can do um, a bigger project having two cakes of each. <coughs> okay. I definitely have to tell you guys something in a second. All right. Then there are two cakes of this one. Um, I had this last time. Uh, or no, I didn't have this one last time. I had this last year when they did it. I traded these with D from D's Creative Hands. Um, so this is just, you know, green. Different shades of green. Very pretty. That would be really pretty with like a gold um, thread. All right, and then so um okay, so then there is I think I already had one of these somewhere. Um this is the navy blue to a dark blue to light blue to that dusty pink. And then so here's another example of where you can tell that there was a Uh, this well, this one's missing the pink out of the middle of it, so you can uh, see the visual of like what's what's you know quote unquote wrong with it or whatever. But um, perfectly good cake to me. I mean, it has pretty much most of it. <laughs> I mean, these are just phenomenal deals. Even two cakes at fourteen ninety nine. It's just a great deal. I mean, it really is a great deal because I I mean these cost. Don't these cost around like $20 by themselves for just one? And I got these at $9.99 for two. So that's a really good deal. Um, <coughs> and then there are two more. Of. Oh. Oh. Hold on. Where did that Look. So this is the one. Ooh. There we go. So the. Come on. Okay. So this is the one that has the Stellina in it. I have a two pack of ones that don't have Stellina in it. Isn't that cool? It's the exact same thing, just no Stellina. Black to blues to light blue-ish white, light purple to darker purple. That's neat. I really like that. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I like these, but these are definitely going to find their way to you guys because um, I have two of these from, I don't remember, it, Yarn Art. It's two from Yarn Art. Uh, that uh, I got in Mama Jean mystery boxes. I bought two different mystery boxes from her. Well, no, Nicole bought me one, and then I bought one way later. And both of them ended up having the same cake in it, which I thought was super cool. Um, <laughs> and she just makes them up in advance and picks them at random, so it truly was just very random that that happened. But that's really neat. 
Okay, so what I want to tell you guys is I bought 10 packs. This is clearly far more than 10 packs. Um, and I ordered this under a different email than the first email because I was kind of afraid that if I ordered it under the same email that maybe they weren't going to want to send it or something I don't know um and I forgot about I forgot that I did that I forgot that I ordered it through my a different email so um <clears throat> this is definitely not you know a makeup for the original messed up order because I ordered it from a different you know email and they didn't say anything you know like hey here's the makeup for that I don't know if they miscounted I don't know if it's because there's quite a few of these cakes that are missing the entire center so they sent extra ones to kind of make up for that um I have no idea because there's like three or four that are missing the center but just being 100% transparent here um you know I'll if if I'm gonna tell you the bad I'm gonna tell you the good too um I only ordered 10 packs and Let's see how many we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Whoa. nine. Oh, never mind. Just kidding. Okay, I did it. I don't know why that seemed like it was more. I thought I counted more than that. Okay, never mind. Ten. It was just a ten. Okay, scratch all of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep these, and um, I'm gonna pass the rest on. Ooh, sorry guys. Uh, it's kind of being drowned out. I lost my good lighting. I don't know. But yeah, super beautiful. Um, so I'm gonna keep these and the rest of them are gonna be passed on to you guys, but I wanted to show you guys what I got. I wanted to give you guys an update and I don't, you know, I, I'm not trying to spread hate to Hirschners. I'm not trying to bring anything down on them or anything like that. I'm gonna, you know, probably keep ordering the melons because it's a good deal and gives me stuff to pass on to you guys. And that's, you know, important. Um, but I think that the customer service experience has just been not great. It shouldn't be like that. And it's not just one person at this point. <clears throat> so that tells you that there is a bigger issue at hand here but it is what it is there's nothing I can do about it and I'm not going to follow it through any further I'm just gonna leave it alone um, it was a good deal even losing one of the two packs it was a good deal eating that cost so it is what it is I guess you know at this point so what are you gonna do but um yeah so I love you guys I hope you guys have a good weekend coming up. I hope you had a good fourth and um, I will talk to you guys later. Hey you guys, just a really quick update. I wanted to let you know it is July the 12th. It's uh, one week since I filmed the video you just watched. I'm about to upload it and thought I would attach this update real quick that I still have not heard from them. Um, no, I haven't reached out since the last time I reached out, but that's because I'm done. I'm not going to reach out anymore. Um, I reached out several times, you know, for an update. So it is what it is. Uh, you know, it wasn't that much money anyway. Um, I don't know. So I'm just, um, surprised that that's the way they're, you know, handling things. I'm not really sure why they're handling it this way. Um, I've watched them handle it very different for, you know, other people. Maybe I just fell through the cracks. I don't know. It just isn't that serious for me to go after. Um, you know, there's far more important things going on in life 
and in the world and it just isn't something I'm choosing to give my energy to. Um, I did everything right. I did everything I could. Um, and it's just not, you know, it is what it is. It's done. Um, so I'm not worried about it anymore. But I just wanted to let you guys know. So I'll probably still order melons in the future um, because it's just a really good deal. And I, you know, want to have those things for you guys. Um, I'm about to do mystery boxes that's going to be, you know, have all those things in them. So, um, also in giveaways and things like that. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. All right.